Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Envy USA. They have green leaves in Washington, D.C., and we don't have any leaves yet. The trees are still bold. <laughs> Thank you for, for watching us. So much is going on in the world, and I'm glad I will be answering your questions. So, thank you for joining us today, today Kelly Com Comenos, or Cal Kaylee, C A L L Y, Group 66, E B Weston, Vilma Rowe, D Briggs, L Shan. It's so nice that you've, and Cindy Faust is here, and Lori Sucre, and Klamath, and Tina Leno. It's Beverly Leyeski, Lori. Yeah, Beverly's here. Alexis is here. Anyways, please do. I didn't, I've been away on the weekend trying not to do all this news because I went to Calgary for a visit and uh, went to a Matt Dust concert. I've never seen him before. I have his music, but I've never seen him. Yeah. So that was good. So I am not up to date on all the news that's happened in the last few days, even though you were firing off these things. I have not looked at them. And I was enjoying my Sunday mm -hmm. off because we had our anniversary, 44 anniversary. Good for you. So, what did you do? Oh, we went for a little drive and then walk with a dog and then nice dinner and nap. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start doing paperwork and my husband, oh, come on, we will go for a little nap. You go. No, we will go together. <laughs> and of course. Now time flies so fast. It does. Kelly C O M E N O S. Now this may be a challenging one for you to answer. Oh my gosh. You seem a bit negative lately. Try to balance your news with why the negative. Ah uh, boy, because you know, I see what will come and it's scary for me. And that, that's probably not, I don't want, I, you know, I'm not a negative person. But there is so much going on that I can. Yesterday I had a very positive day, so hopefully I will be positive. <laughs> that would be lovely. It would be lovely. Thank you for, for warning me that I'm on negative side. Yes. Well, you pick up the current energies. And it is so much going on, and uh, I was warning about this uh, even for 2024, and I said the Red Sea will be a problem. We don't know that yet, but it will be. And, yeah, it's not always easy to be a psychic. Uh, Craig Dixon is at, or says, it was fun watching Trump go to court. Did you see how red his eyes were? today well, he, he has to wake up early and put the makeup on well he didn't get it on very good then if that's the case to do the hair and he is so he doesn't have the power the control of the situation they are controlling him and that's not something that he's used to well and he is not a happy camper because he wants to to tell people I'm getting out and I have enough. No, sit on your behind and make it flat. Now, McDougal, when she had that affair with Trump and then was paid off by Mac, uh, that, by that Mac, magazine. Yeah, Acquire. No, nah, National Acquire. No, it's National Acquire. Is that it? Anyways, when she was paid off. Packer, Packer. Yeah, that was the name. I remember that part. But uh, I didn't realize that that was during the time that Melania was pregnant. Oh, yeah, for one year. Yeah. What a good husband. Oh. <laughs> and he's selling Bible because I'm so good. I'm so noble. <laughs> Alexis is Don't asking. Don't cheat. Oh, I'm cheat. I was cheating. But that's That's noble. not cheating. That's noble for me because she was pregnant. Oh, yeah. That's his <laughs> excuse. He should marry Bobbin. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, Charles, and, uh, Charles for Schmidt. Entertainment only, you know. I have to say something sometimes more than I. Charlie Schmidt is saying happy anniversary, Violetta and hubby. Thank you. Alexis is asking, will the judge 
jail Trump for disrupting the court. One, two. That will be in control. I see two horses running at me like a chariot. He will be in control of those two horses. So when he will need to take control, he will take control. I don't know how, but he will take control. They will go for, oh, okay, I will punish you. It will last longer. Yeah, I will take the Wednesday off. That's what he said already. Who would take the Wednesday off? The judge. If there oh, are, and delay things. If they want to delay, he would take Wednesday off because apparently they had Wednesday off. So he will say, no, we will sit on Wednesday too. Okay. That's, he will be very judgmental. And oops. the judge will be judgmental? Very. Mm -hmm. And yes, that will be the, like uh, uh, one day they will be in control, but some days he will be acting like a spoiled written, a little brat. So will he get jailed at all? Will he spend one or two nights in jail? Three cards. One, two, three. They might sweep this under the rug. Because I see a big sweeper, you know, like sweeping floors. That's chariot, okay. So he, as long as judge will feel that he is in control, he will let it go. He will be, mm hmm And my intuition is probably correct. He wouldn't like to put him in jail, not yet, because he wants to put him eventually. <laughs> I only think on the CNN it was the, the court today a little bit about Israel but there was more things going on I changed the channel so if they would be trying to take me to the jury I wouldn't classify because I'm watching one uh, Fox News for sometimes and CNN and on Fox News they were telling that there are some insight movements that are against USA, and they are scary. Group 66 is asking, could you see if M. Trader Green has received a so-called target letter? She seems really desperate that she's under investigation, a target letter by the government, our, our investigators. Has she received a target letter? So they are investigating her if she has no Russian idea. She's, money? Well, she's just asking. If Marjorie Taylor Greene has received a so-called target letter, she seems really desperate. Three cards. One, two, three. 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 One, two. Mailbox, I don't see anything in the mailbox, sorry. She's still safe, crying of a broken relationship. Oh. Is that with Trump? With Trump, because Trump was on saying that he likes uh, Mike Johnson. Well, he saw Mike Johnson, but he's supporting, he was saying Tim Tim Scott. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that um, he and Johnson. he will be doing it. Oh, that's because she wants to get Johnson out. And then he had the meeting with Johnson. And Johnson told him, I promise you, when it will be the election day, I will be not do, doing what... Mike Pence did, but he doesn't believe him. He don't know if he can. Well, he doesn't have control over that because Mike Pence is vice president, presided over everything, and Kamala Harris does that this yeah, time. Yeah, but he will be in the situation like it was Pelosi. Pelosi was making sure that she will pull everyone to the chamber to, to vote, and he will not do that. So he, if as much as he will be able to to do... On his side, he will be doing. Now, Johnson, did Johnson promise if he gets in again as speaker next term, like coming back mm -hmm. if Trump gets elected, that he will not uh, do impeachment proceedings on Trump? He won't impeach him for the entire term? Oh, three cards. Because it has to be brought up and impeachment has to be brought up and he won't bring anything up. Three cards. One, two. Three. 
he wouldn't be because the Democrats will be. Okay. So he might promise whatever the judgment he would be out and he will do everything to feel secure, but uh, now the security will be on the democratic side. Like we that. need that we yes. for the peace in the world. Yeah, and as a neighboring country. Yeah, it's, it's more important actually to have House and Senate on the democratic side than even to have Biden in the seat. Because without the, those two parties, he can do anything, and then Trump can do too much if he has those two opposite parties. So, at least there will be some balance. I'm not saying that Biden is not. I'm saying that that's how it is, that the people who are controlling Senate are, and uh, Congress are so important. Because they can impeach even judges from Supreme Court. Well, there's, uh, I mean, Trump's not getting in anyway, so it makes no difference. Um, there's a case, uh, Michelle had asked this recently here, and she wrote it out for me for you. It's just a matter of time. Mother of Victoria Boy, who disappeared 32 years ago, believes he's still alive. How many and years ago? 32 years ago. 32 years ago. This is a little boy, and she believes he's still alive. Mm -hmm. And his. Can you show to the people? Oh, wait, I'll just um, try to get Michelle's um, comment up here about his name. Mm -hmm. Michael Michael Dundee. Dunedi, Dunahee, Dunahee. Four year old Michael Dunahee. Dunahee. He disappeared in 1991 from a playground in Victoria, BC. He's never been found. And so this is a picture of the, the little Mikey, the little boy. Mm -hmm. Is he still alive? I'm not getting any energy from him. Okay. I'm sorry. Because that was a recent thing. She's still, she she's thinks still, he's still alive, so it's active in the news, mm -hmm. news cycle. Um, Willow Breeze has made a comment. Want you to, to let you know that today, the fifteenth, is Patriots Day in six states. Wow! Same as trial. <laughs> Prophetic. <laughs> Just what she well, he's not a patriot. <laughs> he never was a patriot. He never will be. And uh, we are more patriots for Americans than he is. Uh, Teresa Sloan is asking, do you see Rick Scott in Florida or Ted Cruz in Texas winning, keeping their Senate seats? We need peace in the Middle East. Didn't you see uh, Ted Cruz being out? I think he does. Yes, something was said uh, for that. He has a, a big, strong support of people, but they... So you're asking about Ted Cruz? Okay, we'll do Ted Cruz, yeah. But I answered that once before. Three cards. One, two, three. Not completely he will make it. I have that bracelet. Okay. It's like this bracelet. It's holding, but it's not... Connected completely. So does that mean he doesn't secure the house? He doesn't have the security. He will be missing something. So will the seat... Okay, you can finish your reading. There will be battle for that seat. He still will be strong. But the people will be very judgmental about him because he gave... He let down so many people. When the going gets tough, he takes yeah. holidays. Well, he ran to, on vacation when there was a freezing temperatures and people were dying. And he went to cocoons. <laughs> I can't get over the number of holidays the house has taken. Oh, gosh. They're always on holiday. Because that's what they do. They are above the law. And no one is telling them you have to work. So do you see his seat taken by blue? 
So the Dems, Dems win his seat. A donut. Donut is empty inside. Mm -hmm. So, and it looks like a zero. So what does that mean? For the Dems taking it? I think that that's not the the right aiming. Maybe the Republicans will take his seat. So we'll have to see who's... Uh, well, he's, I, he's I the one who's running, so it'll be somebody else, another donut. Republican. I see three cards. We'll one. See what's the... Two. Three. In Canada, we are always joking that the police is in the donut place eating donuts Tim <laughs> in Tim Hortons. That's just very Canadian. And someone from his family, they will make some decision about that. And he will be outsider. Okay, so if he's an outsider, will he actually be running for his seat again? Because maybe they'll pick up another Republican to run for his seat. I don't I don't know when Ted Cruz uh, ends his his term, if it's soon, if he's won. One, two, three. I can't tell you who that person is. I'm not... Female, male? Nothing. Education about the cheating, and he was a cheater, and partnership. So someone maybe from his party, but more appreciated. Maybe even female, because lovers. I know he's uh, in Senate. He is popular with his guys, and Trump likes him. <laughs> even he didn't like him before. So it shows how he was <sighs> disconnected with everything, like his two faces. Yeah. Don't mess up with my wife. And then... PS6035 is asking, will the banks in the U.S. remain secure for the rest of the year? Meaning no banks are going under. And then you want me to be very positive. <laughs> <laughs> Three cards. One. Two. Three. Inflation will be going up. Does that mean that, that the banks will go down? I can't tell you. I, I just know that inflation will go up. Every price might go up. Everything what is bring, uh, brought through the Suez Canal, because that will be the, the battle zone now. It was nice that the Israel won and USA was helping 80 missiles with targeted by USA, but there is a price for that. Iranian uh, Iranians are not going to feel a victim. They want to get revenge. And revenge is not a nice thing. Okay. I'm sorry. The good harvest are good. A lot of goals and plans, and the banks will be making good choices. So that's at least the cards are more positive than I'm with this. So will Rick Scott in Florida, will he win his re-election bid? Remind me, Rick Scott. I know that name. Rick Scott. How you can remind me. <laughs> Let me get a picture of him for you. He was connected with Trump's... Uh, he was one of the, the in Trump circle. Oh, but he's in the Senate. No? I think he's he, Republican senator. Senator, yeah, he's still in the Senate. Okay. 71 year old bold you can show to people so if they are did he gave up 
Oh, he's still fighting. Uh, I don't know. Can you count? One, two, three. He's still going forward. He will be a winner. Going for quite a time, but he will have the power. So that he will be able to express himself. Um, MIAG 9277, will there be additional drone strikes from Iran to Israel and will this cause a world war? Well, you said right now that um, Biden is talking. Biden's with Ira um, Iraqi. You okay, think the Iraqis? Not with Iranian. He's talking with Iraqi prime minister. And Iran will be... Will they be still putting drums? Three cards. One, two, two. They know that it was I, uh, artificial intelligence that was against them. So they were wasting just ammunition. That was all artificial intelligence that was on the... Israeli side and Americans. Mm. So that's the reason they were not playing with people abilities. They were uh, the AI was the one who was targeting them. So there is no point for them to attack Israel. They will be attacking different uh, in different places Israelis. But they will be celebrating some wins. And it will be still dysfunctional. There will be dysfunctional problems over there. All about money and security. So there is... No, Israelis will be secure. They yeah. might put one or two just to check if they are all the time ready for this. But if they have artificial intelligence, that the, the intelligence will be ready all the time. Now, Netanyahu, was he trying to drag the U.S. into putting uh, boots on the ground in the in Israel to, to boost his thing? Three cards. Where do you see that going? One, two, three. Behind the doors, Biden is furious at him and uh, because he thinks that was unnecessary prolonging, prolonging that battle in Palestine, the war. And he knows that Israeli wants the statement. Mm -hmm. And when the things was going on, that was not known that Americans are helping them. But after so yesterday morning, that they, we learned that that was the case. Now Biden don't want to. He wants to sit on the bench and be just observer. They will send him money, as I said before. Behind the back, they will be doing everything. And yeah, he wants security in the USA. So he will be supporting them financially. I don't think he wants the people to be on the ground there. Um, I wonder how unhealthy it is for Israel to be neighbor now to Palestine. There were so many fires, so many bombs. And that's that question. <laughs> you asked the question. <laughs> is it safe or healthy, health wise safe? Because, you know, people who were in 9 11. Mm -hmm. firefighters the cancer was going through the roof and it was not for few few months that they were all the time exposed to those chemicals and so many people were so affected three cards one two three i think i know the answer i will put three for israel and three for palestine one, two, 
two, two. Alastair, they were being hot seat and told the justice what they got, they will receive eventually and they will have a lot of health battles for years. And Israel, the world is watching, they will be on the safe side, but there will be casualties too. There will be chemicals are chemicals. They can move from one place to another. And I'm afraid that if Iran will throw some drums over now, over the Israel, the drums will have some chemicals. So even if they are shut down, the chemicals will spread. I hope that doesn't happen. Sorry? I said I hope that doesn't happen. Hope, but that's kind of, you know, Iran feel is feeling uh, that they lost, and no one likes to feel that we lost. So sorry that that's... I'm honest with you. I'm just telling you how there is never a good war. Never. It's always a, a bad. Patty Thompson is asking, when Trumpet is in New York, does he stay in his gold tower or elsewhere? I oh, know he has to have a gold throne at least. <laughs> he can relax after sitting for so many hours. Trick out. <laughs> One. Two. Three. No, he will be staying in the tower. It's just the prestige. And sometimes he will be leaving on the weekend, probably traveling. It's far, it's easy for, he feels that he has prestige as long as he has the tower still. The tower, because Junior said, it's my home. How they can take my childhood home? I know he was complaining when one of the properties that would be liquidated at some point by Letitia James for that uh, fraud case is um, some sort of a holiday place for Don Jr., his hunting place or something. And he was really upset about that because oh, everything is owned by the organization and then they get access to it, it seems, some of that stuff. Um, oh, Donna says today is the deadline for filing taxes in America. No, we have to till the end of the month and Cheryl is staying with me today. We are working <laughs> and working and working. No, it's not like last year, though. Oh, what well, you are saying this, I'm still feeling like. You know, we've got a good handle on it this time. Uh, um, I was better prepared this time, but we still have to finish. Yeah, we're nearly done. Could you please ask a question? This is Alexandra Day. Could you please ask a question about MAGA Mike Johnson planning for Project 2025, making America white, Christian, and authoritarian? Should I laugh? Because it's a joke. <laughs> Three cards. One, two, three. Maybe he's moving to Hungary. It's why Mike Johnson? Mike Johnson, yeah. Or oh, Poland. On that matter, yeah, my country uh, was not allowing any immigrants. Yeah, for many years. I bet that will change now because the new government, but uh, that kind of how it was. So they, and it's Catholic. So maybe he can move to Poland. He will be fine, safe. He needs a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Mike <of>. Johnson? <laughs> Mike Johnson. Yeah, and the people will judge him because of his sayings. Yeah. It's impossible what he thinks he is talking about. Okay, okay. And the, with the priest, the, Trump will be the priest. <laughs> well, he, he is selling Bible, so he can, he thinks that he will go to heaven. So, one lady told me that she's 55 years married and the private reading, and I said, well, you will go to heaven <laughs> for that long time. Still happy. And we are still talking with Richard, 44 years. 
And I was laughing yesterday. I said, well, we are still kissing and hugging and talking and laughing. Yeah, I was taking bath. He was sitting on top of the throne, not the desk was. And I was letting him to listen to Polish jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment for the marriage. <laughs> Kelly McCall is asking, will Melania go back to Trump's side? I believe she'll only show up at Republican convention for cash. Yeah, I think that's, she has a contract for something. Three cards. One, two, three. You pay how much to, to Stormy Daniels? You pay me more. My role For is one, <laughs> one appearance? <laughs> for one appearance, more negotiations. She will be doing some work and she knows all the secrets, but she's all the by the for the money. So she will be negotiating another contracts, how much he has to pay her. And he is kind of like a husband who is feeling in the doghouse. I remember at one time, um Melania had gone to Florida without Trump, and you said she was taking something out of the safe. Oh, he, because he was right away after the Stormy Daniels story. That was and she was she was taking something out of the safe, but you also thought that he had nude pictures of her in the safe that she wanted to get out of there get to, out of to the, protect. Because he's from him blackmail. blackmail. He's blackmail her. Well, her pictures show up on the acquire. And, Empire, yeah. Yeah, and that was apparently him, my, uh, my Colin, uh, Colin, Michael Cohen. He said he's capable of doing that. Well, he's capable of anything. Because he wants attention. And so Christina Cardona is saying Rick Scott is Republican. He wants to get rid of Medicare. Uh huh. And Trump wants that too, even if he's not openly. But everything is about giving the brakes to the extreme extremely wealthy mm -hmm. and Trump would like to you know may, maybe make them into oligarchs you know the they get even wealthier and wealthier but it's always at the the hands of everybody else and the people some of those people they have no idea about that you know because his people are very close-minded and Fox is not talking about that <laughs> Chris Cross writes well anyways Melania I won't call her what she calls her uh, is waiting to see if her hubby will lose his assets. She's going to stand back and stand by. Where did we hear that? <laughs> <laughs> she said that. <laughs> yeah. She said that, and Trump told his boys, stand back and stand by. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Beverly is asking, will there be any more information regarding the death since OJ has died? Is anyone going to come forward? Okay. About the OJ story, I remember I was watching this in 1995. I remember I was in the kitchen when that verdict came out. And I was furious, furious, furious to the max. They said it was not his gloves. Glove. And he was putting rubber glove. He had rubber glove on his hand. And... Uh, glove that was leather was for a while in the cold in the rain i was working with leather that time and my husband was making beautiful mask out of leather all it's about stretching the leather mm -hmm. when it's wet and then it would dry and it would be hard like a rock you know that the mask that we have mm -hmm. and he so the the there was no way that even petite lady will put that glove on her hand. I don't know why why they didn't took anyone with some experience with leather. There is so many people who work with leather for centuries. Uh, native people were always working with leather. Everyone was working. Every country was doing something out of leather. And you have to soften so you can put it on, mm -hmm. to put oils and so on. So that was so easy to predict that that glove will not fit. If it doesn't fit, then quit. Cochran, I think that who said that. 
And uh, I thought, oh gosh, the system is so completely. And Clark was standing, Mar 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 what's her name? Margin, whatever. Clark, the, and she was standing and looking. I thought. Well, I remember the lawyer after he was kind of laughing because he said that OJ. The prosecution didn't ask the right questions. Yeah, because he was guilty, and they, they knew. Everyone knew who they did. Now they are saying maybe his son was not too favorite of his mother-in-law. They want to find some new. Forget no one will blame. Not if no one show up after so many years to take that pride and joy to be that. Uh, no. Now this morning discussing about Trump in court. And you know how he has to remain there all day. And Marshawn has said that if Trump does not come to court or leaves early or whatever, that the case will still carry on in court. Remember how he wasn't, I thought he had to be there all the time. I don't know whether he gave no, him that, that pass. He didn't have to be uh, on Carol, but he no, was No, but going. that's a civil. This is criminal. They're supposed yeah. to be in court all the time, but he's going to look like it's going to give a pass of some sort because he came out and said this morning that if Trump is not there, they're going to carry on. Does that mean because Trump is not there because he's being taken out of court? Because Mershon has said, if you're disruptive, you're taken out of court, but the trial will carry on. Or the trial will carry on even if you don't want to come. Because he, he's supposed he to be there every sit. day. He has problem with sitting for 10 hours, 8 hours or 7 hours even. He will have a problem. So is that that um, the, the case carries on because he is removed from court for his... Oh, his him off. okay yeah abusive uh, actions one will that happen where he does two three it will look very nasty it's like a guy who has a nice shirt but is missing button <laughs> how many buttons you can miss to, to not show your real colors so it will be button by button by button he will be removed, he will be out, he will be sitting in a hot spot, and then he will be crying because they are not protecting me. I have to sit here and I have to sit here. Come on, God, you have to sit. I have hemorrhoids. Go for it, repair them, and come back. <laughs> okay. For entertainment only. <laughs> but he will find some way of... Uh, Whining. Well, they they were expecting that he he would sometime during this week, you know, because he ha he goes always outside to the press and he gives his woes because he and wants he to raise can. more money to pay for his lawyers. They put the muzzle on him. Yeah, but about you know intimidating the witnesses and saying bad things about them, etc. But with um, they were wondering how long it would take for Trump before he disrupts some the court. They thought it would it would be this week. I bet today even. Well, they thought it was maybe more who, than today. It would be who a couple can of sit next to someone who is putting gases? <laughs> he might pollute the, the area. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the air. <laughs> That's my way of dealing with the stress. <laughs> um, Believe me, on the first moment after we got married. We've just signed official papers in the office. We're walking down the stairs and we have our first argument. And I won. <laughs> because he was telling me that my dress is too open. And I said, what? Go back. You make mistake. You didn't marry the right girl. And there is a girl <laughs> coming and she has a lace on top and because he was feeling that his friends were checking me out too much. I said, you should marry her. We started laughing and I thought, oh, okay, I will manage him. But yeah, it's so easy to go the different direction when you don't have a sense of humor. Now, you sent me a, a video, which I didn't watch, Trump's mentor, uh -huh. Roy Cohen's cousin. But you read about him all. No? I never... I was totally off of media. No, but uh, talking about uh, Along, Cohen, you read about Cohen. Before. Yeah, I read, read about yeah Roy Cohen before. I mean, yeah. he was the fixer for his dad, even Trump's yeah. dad. 
and he taught him how to you know, delay, 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 and delay challenge, and challenge, and soon, uh, soon, soon. Say no, 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 I'm not guilty. Yeah, to keep it up. Yeah. But anyways, you sent me this, and it says, Roy Cohen's cousin speaks out, Trump's mentor. And you said to me, you sent this and said, I like this last video. It's about Roy Cohen. What did you like about the video? Oh, the truth. You know, that, that they were saying how it was and uh, how, you know, you burn the tree when it's young. Mm -hmm. That's the saying. How the Trump bent himself to be the way he is. He wanted to be Roy Cohen. Even eventually he learned that Ron, Roy Cohen was a gay and he was dying of uh, AIDS. So he never showed. Uh, he was abandoning him in the last months of his life. But before he was good friend with him. Trump never, and he said, Trump has no friends. Mm -hmm. No one can be his friend because he's only thinking about himself. That would be so hard to, I mean, he turns on everybody. Will he turn on Ivanka? Trump, I can't do One, two, three. Uh, there is a... Um, Bob wire between them right now. So they are not <laughs> in good connection. That, that's the world that they have between two of them. Yeah, they go different directions. Everything on the paper, he knows that they all, like he thinks they own him, the money that they made. And he is ready to even stand up to them. So... He is jealous that Kushner got those two billion dollars. Well, Kushner was already in in the hands of the Saudis, and yeah, but he is jealous about that. Come on, yeah, but look at—he's having the live tournaments at uh, Bedminster and other. Yeah, but he thinks half his mind at least. You were married. To, you are my daughter, and he was married to you, and the, you guys were making good connections in the White House. He knows all that behind the scene that the, how dishonest they were, and so on. So he thinks they should call, they should pay me. Now, on a early into the the term, Melania and uh, Trump. And I think Kushner was there too, or something. But remember, M Melania got a whole bunch of uh, Chinese. Melania or Ivanka? No, Melania. No, Ivanka. Ivanka got a whole bunch of um, patents. Patents that she wasn't supposed to get. One of them was for uh, voting machines. Mm -hmm. She wanted to bring her voting machines yes. to USA, but didn't. Nothing work. ever happened. No, that didn't happen. But that's what she wanted. Now, Margaret Raymond, she's kind of curious. Do you still have any updates of anything that's going on with the Royals right now? Oh, I had three cards. One. The, they have 19th anniversary, King Charles and Camilla. Camilla. One, okay. Two, three. I know I might be wrong, but I have the feeling that he had bone marrow. Uh, bone, uh, bone cancer. cancer. Bone cancer. And uh, he he really doesn't enjoy being a king. He would like to to have that uh, possibility. The freedom that he used to have. He would like to have the possibility of being sick and get out with the pride to let his son to to run the country. He thinks when he was young, he was ready for that. Not anymore. And he wants to celebrate something. He still will feel that he will be a winner, but he wants to leave the, the spot. So he will be a winner if he will let his son to be the, the king. That's his mentality. And then um, when Katrin, Prince Katrin. Two. Three. Princess Catherine. Catherine. Well, they are checking, and I think it is a little spot that they still have to remove. So there is not that she's completely cancer-free, but they are making good decisions around her. The sun is shining on her, and it will be good prognosis for her. So eventually she will be 
back on her spot. She doesn't want divorce. I know people are saying, oh, they divorce, they divorce. And William don't want divorce. But first, that it will be damage for the for him to be a king. Uh, yeah. I mean, everybody seems to have that. I mean, Philip even had his affairs. Yeah, but I don't Charles. think he, he wants that yeah. happened. And um, he is, uh, his mother died. He doesn't want the kids to grow up with the without the mother. So he, that way he is a very good parent. So they both will sacrifice themselves as you did. You were staying for many years in a marriage because you want the kids to grow up. Yeah, with a father. That, you know, was not. And that was because he had an affair the entire time. Yeah. And I knew, knew her. Yeah, you should take sample from Bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Letitia James, what is happening with that? Uh, what is it? Um, the man four hundred and yeah, I don't know. I don't, like he, they had that, and then it was reduced to one hundred and seventy-five. And ten days, and the ten days is gone, and no one is talking about this. And then they know that it has a connection to the Cayman Islands, and that uh, guy who gave him the the bond, etc. He's being investigated now. Now, yeah. But will they go back to having the original four hundred and sixty-five million dollars or whatever it was? Will it go back to that where the bond is? He's going to have to find something to post the bond in order to go forward. Three thousand one. Two. They have a boxing game this way, that way. So they are still unsure which way they want to go. They want to, they think it will be easier if they will go on the lower, at least to, to help him that way. So he will pay something and that will, it's more work for them. They want to have their lives back. He is in hot seat. He will be making good choices. He will find the cure. There will be someone he who will, yeah, who will help him. But he still has to come up with the entire original amount, unless it's changed. Yeah, unless the you know, because he, the the money are to for him to, to go back to the court and. Well, that's what this whole trial is about—to go back and get more money. Yeah, and uh, poor Trump. You know, he is not going to have easy life for the next six weeks. He will, if he will be lucky to have Sundays off and uh, Wednesday off. I don't know if Saturday don't will be Saturday. off. But that's what I heard, that the Wednesday they will have off if he behaves nicely. So it's like telling uh, a kid, behave you nice, yourself nicely and I will take you to the cinema. Uh, artist is asking, artist Liz, do you ever see New York City taking the Trump name off of the Trump Tower? It will be ex-Trump Tower. That will be still a symbol for the city as entertainment place, but it will have ex-Trump Tower. Oh, my. Well, in Canada, in Vancouver, they took completely off. Mm -hmm. But over there, it is still the, that place that people would like to see, attraction. So it, when it will be X, it will be showing him boom. Does that make sense? Because he was involved in a, a Trump uh, Tower thing in Toronto, and it, he put up part of the money, and the oligarch put up part of the money, mm -hmm. and then Trump got out of, um, he, he couldn't pay you know, when it came for renewal, his portion. And so the oligarch took it up totally on and then they removed the name as far as I believe. And many people didn't want to stay in the Trump Tower in Canada. They said, we are refusing to stay in that with that name. So ex-Trump Tower. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that uh, Malone with the mask, I think he said X instead of Twitter. So uh, Elena. R-Y-N-K-E-V-I-C. Did the Orange Menace offer Mikey the vice president's chair? What, uh, Mike Johnson. Did uh, he offer Mike the pres vice president's chair at all? I was looking at his body language, and he doesn't try trust Mike Johnson. My, Mike Johnson. He thinks that he is too sneaky. 
he is more like a lawyer and he will tell him what you want to hear, but he is not completely trusty. I don't think he will take him as vice president. No, well, he's not going to get in anyway. So, no, but he will never uh, offer. He was standing behind him and he was. Something was so boiling inside him. If you can see that the speech from Mar-a-Lago, you didn't. In, see. No, no, I didn't. I wasn't watching TV. Uh, but Mike Johnson was boiling inside, or Trump was. Trump, Trump was boiling. Trump because uh, there was uh, that uh, Trump was giving a speech mm -hmm. and he was nice, and then Mike Johnson was saying something, and Trump was standing behind. And thinking, no, I, I can't trust you. You are not, you are worse than Mike Pence. That was in his mind. I had, I was. But there's a little bit of integrity there. No, he's scared. <laughs> he is scared that, you know, someone might not listen to him. Uh, Artist Liz is asking again Do you see if Trump will try to harm Michael Cohen and his family? He's already, I mean, he was. There were people who were threatening. Um, oh, his family was threatened, and he was. But so was was um, Judge. the hush money people. Oh they, yeah, they were, uh, Stormy Daniels. Your, your daughter was also threatened. One, yeah. two, three. Mike, uh, Michael um, Cohen. He knows that he is a target. He knows, and he's worried about his family and his daughter and her son uh, and his son. But he will be safe. He has to pay attention to the everything, and maybe he needs one day to 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 see a doctor. So maybe something will happen to him. Hopefully not. I I didn't like him when he. Oh, thank you, artist Liz. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't like him when he was working for Trump because he was on CNN every day before election. But uh, I have to admit that uh, people can change, and he did change. Well, they have. They know each other so well. Well, he had quite the mouth too. Oh, he always had the mouth. Oh, that's the reason I didn't like him. But he can be a nasty one. John is saying some say OJ's son helped with the murders. Did that's he have what, any connection at all? With that's them? what I was saying. That now they want to claim him. That uh, claim that he was the mm -hmm. the one who three cards one two. I don't think so. I think uh, OJ was working on his own. He didn't need someone to tell, help him to do it. He did on on his own. He was afraid that, so he was negotiating for his son. He was afraid that the son can be judged, but his son was on the safe side. He was on drugs that time in his life, but I don't... OJ loved his kids. Saylavi is uh, saying here, when D. Trump loses the election, will the USA have to worry about Jared Kushner selling the US out to the Saudis and Russia and China? They did that already. Yeah, but would it, even if Trump's not in there, will he continue to do they that? They will be doing it. I think they did already to the highest bidder. Three cups. One, two. Three. I pull four. They will be trying to cover up, like, you know, behind them with the tail, what is going on. They want to be on secure to Saudi Arabia. The sun will be shining on them. Ivanka was helping even more than we know. Suzanne Bornman is saying that there's going to be a hearing about the bond coming up. Oh, it will be okay. That would be kind of nice. I will say a joke. Okay. I hope I'm not going to burn that one. The guy is coming home. 
and drunk like hell. And he has one more bottle, small bottle in a glass. And he thinks I will put this bottle in my bum, uh, in my pocket at the back. So it will be the safest place. Of course, he is falling down and he has a ble blood coming out of his bum because the bro the broken glass. So he's coming home very quietly around three o'clock in the morning, going to the bathroom and checking on the mirror where he has to put the plasters. Mm -hmm. plaster. mm -hmm. And he's putting plaster over plaster. And eventually he went to bed. In the morning his wife is screaming at him. Why is so much blood in the bed in the bed? And why did you put tape all over the mirror? The plaster all over the mirror. He couldn't figure out that he instead of on the bum he was putting on the mirror. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> uh, Lily Rose is commenting that they found the two bodies in the state of Oklahoma they believe to be the missing mums. Prayers to those families. You had said the one was already dead and the other one. I knew, and another was kind of in the hide and place. But maybe that that's... Um, Alexander Day is asking. And it was related somehow, I feel, to the children. Yeah. yeah. Custody or something. Yeah. Uh, Alexander Day is, could you please send prayers? Please send prayers for my senior cat, Kate. I just want her to cross over in peace. She is afraid. Oh my gosh. I know everyone, we love our animals to the pieces, so our best wishes. And I sent some to myself. Okay. Can you read this one? Your eyes are better. Which one? This, this one here? Thank you very much for all your beautiful readings, and I pray your husband's health improves. Oh, no, that's not the one. I wanted to. That's the same one. Gosh. Same one. When I'm in the bed, I, I I have to find a. My husband is fine. Better, better, don't, better than that. Well, I'm it's, just kidding. But it's interesting with uh, like our animals. I mean, I've had a lot of pets too, and we always have to remember we always outlive them. Yeah. But that, then the next one the, that comes along, it seems like we were chosen to be there. Oh, BV is the the. Best out of the trees that my husband, because I had dogs before, but my husband uh, had only Vivi, uh, well, Cora, Queenie, and Vivi. And um, she is the, out of them, she is the, the kind of. Most people continue to take blood sugar. Okay, I will be looking for the lucky person. Who, On Saturday? No, from the Saturday, the, the winner. From Janet, and uh, who got the, who will give, get the half an hour reading with me, donated by Janet and Tom Brooks. Thank you so much. So I will just tell go me. back and forth. Well, I'm going down, 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 down the hill. Stop. Okay. Maxina Rossell, Rossell, uh, Rossella? Maxine, yeah. Maxine. Rosola, yeah. R-O-S-O-L-A. 3029, you are the winner. Thank you for all your amazing readings and insight. Thank you so much, and I'm pinning your name. On Saturday's video, the first comment on Saturday's video. From the previous. Please do write um, psychicvioletta at outlook.com with your contact information, your phone number, etc. cetera. Uh, Violetta tries to keep up on those ones that are the winners and do them as quick mm -hmm. as possible. So please do that for her to be able to arrange for a time for you. Mm -hmm. I want you to know Patrick White. That was a very good joke, Violetta. I got it right away. Oh, you did. LOL. Ha ha ha. Very funny. I know how it feels trying to put a bandaid on my back. So there you go. You want to put it on the mirror as, it's, as it is. <laughs> Well, after he was drunk, 
<laughs> well, well, I was laughing because once I wanted to take a picture of myself, mm -hmm. the one that... Oh, and you did it in the mirror? In the mirror, the hair. Oh, yeah. The wonderful hair that was... It was a bad hair day that day. Bad day. And I'm looking and then I see that I'm looking at the... Uh, the back of your... Back of my telephone. And I thought... That doesn't make good picture. So eventually I thought, oh, I have to, to take a picture of myself. So I, I understand how he felt. That <laughs> was like <laughs> working with technology. Yeah. So anyways, please do write lots of questions and uh, for Wednesday at 11 o'clock. to Because be there's so much going on and, and I'm behind in it. Well, lucky we're... you. Well, we're doing your taxes for the next few days, so I doubt very much I'll... I don't know how... And we are not putting TV when we are working with taxes no. because we are... But just, we do laugh a lot. We laugh and we go so well together. I yeah. can't believe that we don't have any disagreements. No, we never have, though. She is... So we work well together and we work fast. You work fast. I'm, and uh, something that float behind the ship and saying we are floating <laughs> <laughs> and it started with letter s okay <laughs> that's my so, saying so i'm so always telling her that i'm the thing that's floating behind the ship see you wednesday at 11 o'clock mountain time thank you so much thank you for joining us thank you bye -bye. see you bye bye